matchup between Michelle Waterson and Felice Herrick. So here's the perennial strawweight contender, Felice Harris. She started kickboxing essentially right out of high school in 2003 and never looked back. Turned pro in mixed martial arts in 2009. Purple belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Has an outstanding submission game, but is known primarily as a Muay Thai practitioner, a kickboxing fighter who sets a furious pace and has the stamina to stay with it. Felice Herrick fighting, as always, in the memory of her late brother, trying to get it done here tonight. This girl has excellent footwork. It's one of her strongest qualities. She is very difficult to hit, and she can close the distance and hit you very quickly. Very tough to train with anybody who can emulate the type of footwork that she possesses. The karate hottie Michelle Waterson. Injuries have been part of the narrative, but when she came back in that main event against Paige Van Zant, quite the business trip. She got PBZ out of there in the first round, thus setting herself up for a run at the 115-pound title. This girl is such a well-rounded fighter. She has a full arsenal of techniques at her disposal, and because she's so well-rounded, you never really know what she's gonna do. Excellent takedowns, but excellent striking as well. Very good submissions, very good submission defense. She literally can do it all. Our tale of the day for this strawweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record on. 14 wins, seven losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Crystal Lake, Illinois, Felice Lampoon. Now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record on. 15 wins, 6 losses. She stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, the Karachi Hati, Michelle Waterstein. And right, when the action begins, a referee in charge, Eve Levin. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? All right, we are underway here at the home of the UFC, the T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. Wow! Body kick, look at that. Good combination. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Nasty combinations here. Head kick! Oh, another head kick lands for her there, Joe, and one more and this fight could be over. It's amazing what a chin she has. I'm just not sure how many more she can take. How about that chin? Good combinations landing here. Oh, big kick four there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. In half guard. Big left hand. Guillotine attempt for her here. Oh, lost it. Good scramble. In on a single here. Watterson gets the takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Brutal strikes landed from the full guard. And there's a nice right hand. up and delivers a massive ground and pass on to the head. Big shot. She's going after that choke. Nope, lost it. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. 
Back to the feet now. Well, she left her head wide open there, Joe, and she pays for it as the head kick lands on top. Got to figure out a way to get that head off the center line and make some adjustments here, or the end of this fight could come in the not-too-distant future. Oh, that's a good strike there by Heron. Oh, big shot. Back and forth we go. Joe, nice job by her there, slipping the strike. Watterson gets tattooed by that straight punch. Herrick going for the body, missed with that kick. Oh, and down. Under a minute to go. Nice punch there by Waters. Herrick's eye really starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Big punch from the top. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. And back up again. Another shot. Harry gets the takedown late in the round. That's useful. Yeah, wow, that was close. Let's take a look at it again here. Here's a devastating kick that does some serious damage. Here we see an excellent kick connects flush with perfect timing. Big round. Carly Baker in the building tonight. Thank you very much. Two underway. Harry gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Very good job of timing these shots here. Oh! oh! She's got down! in the north-south. Nice punch to the body. Hand speed, man. Eric gets back oh! up and throws with the eye. Wow! This could be it right oh! here. Oh! Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Absolutely, Joe, a tremendous kick. And when her career is said and done, this might be the highlight that everybody is talking about as she ends her opponent's night with as many style points as you could want. She catches her flush, full force, full extension. You gotta think she's getting a performance bonus for that one. Take a look at this from a different angle. Crank right on the jaw. And there she is after the huge knockout victory here tonight. What a moment for this young fighter. You gotta feel pretty good for her, Joe. All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at one minute, ten seconds of round number two. Declare the winner by knockout, the Karate Hachi, Michelle Waterson. So the karate hottie Michelle Watterson with another shining moment in the octagon here tonight. Her fighting style almost as infectious as that smile. And this was really an outstanding effort for her in this one. It's going to be very interesting now to see who she draws next. Tonight, though, they will certainly celebrate this win, one of the biggest of her UFC career.